got building a motor mount here out of 4130 chromoly. Need to add a uh, tube in on my mount here behind the header. Now they got my header back. So I'm going to just line that up here where I want it. On both ends I'm just going to scribe a uh, magic marker line to show the angle that both those pieces meet in there at. All right, this doesn't have to be real rocket science here if we were within about five degrees. You normally do pretty good. So I'm going to take a simple little angle finder here, extend that uh, magic marker line out. It runs out there right around 30 degrees. I also have two um, mating ends to this tube. This one mates up with another three-quarter inch tube like this one is. And the other side mates up with a 1.5 inch tube that goes along the side of that engine out there. Taking a video of a computer screen. Good luck with this. Hopefully this turns out. This is a MetalGeek.com tubing coping calculator and it's just awesome. I'll put in my 0.75 for my tube diameter one. This is a 049 thickness tube so I put 0.05 in there. And this uh, end here is going to the other three quarter inch tube so I'm using 0.75. For that and put the 30 degree angle in, it comes out with this nice little template here that we're going to right click on and print off. Actually, I opened that in a new window here and now I'll run up to the right hand side on my windows here and use the uh, print dialog here. Make sure the zoom is at the right point. Okay, I'm going to cut that out with a big long tail on it and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to do a Quick wraparound check here and make sure that my hands line up fairly well here and that it looks pretty good. That shows that your zoom level is right on the uh, on the print out. If uh, this overlaps too much, you want to move your zoom down. If it underlaps, then you want to zoom in a little bit and reprint it just so it gets to line up nice. Okay, so now I got uh, my two ends. This is the end with the meets a 1.5 inch tube. And I also taped in a little, just a section of uh, paper in the middle here so that I can get my other end to line up roughly. I'm not going to tape this joint quite yet. I'm going to mark it right now with a pencil, just a little X so you can kind of see where the general alignment is since we're kind of close to online on these two. Then we're going to take it down and fit it up on the uh, airplane. Okay, so slip this paper unit off the tube now. Bring it over to your work here. And then you're gonna slide and fit these until they both line up just the way you want. Since you have one end of the tube that's not taped yet, you can kind of slide it around and move it around and get everything lined up. And then we're gonna tape that other end of that tube once you get it just where you want it. So it's all solid one piece. Okay, got the paper done just the way I want it. I'm going to clean up these old marks now real quick. Slip it back on the tube and this is where it gets fun. Now we're just going to take the magic marker and we're going to just fill in these lines. On, so you're making the paper mock-up translate to the tube. All right, there it is. Out of focus. Come back. Pretty simple, just a little coloring job on there. So when we slip the tube off, we've got ourselves a nice line to cut down by. They say if you use a silver colored uh, Sharpie that it even works better. Here's one end and then here's the other end. We're cutting right down to the inside of the line, the clean side, not the scribbly side of course. So the first cut I'll make, I'll just uh, use a metal cutting uh, disc here pretty easy to do on the chop saw and I'll kind of cut the most material off I can so I have less grinding to do on the next step. There's my cut. Not too bad this time. Sometimes I goof it up. Be careful so you don't mess it up too bad. The next step is just basically put on a grinding wheel. Uh, you got a three-quarter tube like this. A radius grinding wheel works really good. Mine, I don't know. It's radius just for me grinding crap over the years or so it works out pretty good but basically the best angle you get on it when you get the radius in there is kind of along the radius of the tube that you're going to be doing kind of got to work it a little take some time generally working these directions is the way I do it 
you're getting that right down down to the inside of the line here all the way around on both ends I'm getting it closer. You can see uh, that first shot I took was bad. What you want to do is get uh, into the grinder with the heel, the heel of your grind up, and you're working both ends of the wheel here to get kind of close to this line. Trying to video and do this all at the same time. Sorry about this. You can see I'm starting to lose my line a little bit. I kind of know where it is, but. Anytime you, you're grinding along, it kind of uh, melt, uh, melts away your, your line a little bit. You can just slip that tube back on and, and remark it. So I'm roughed in here. I got a little more grinding to do now. You can see what I'm doing is basically making a complete and total replica of the mock up, the paper mock up, which fit perfectly into place up there. And there's a lot of times I'll do this grind and I'll uh, set the metal up after I grind it to the line and it just sets up perfectly on the first fit up from walking away from the grinder. So it's just like cut it, grind it down, walk over there and tack it up. It's just as slick as can be. These are pretty big angles. I don't know if you call them big or small angles, but they're kind of flat angles. So they're taking a lot of grinding. The closer you are to a 90 degree, the easier things are. And of course, the more you got to blend in as you get uh, more of an angle on it. Uh, I'll show it fit up here at the end. And just a reminder to Throw a couple bucks at that Metal Geek website. I, I did that. It saved me a lot of time and effort in this process. It was well worth uh, throwing a couple uh, bucks at donation there. And there you have it. Pretty slick. Just ready to tack up. It's not perfect, but well within the ability of a decent welder to get those to blend together sorry about the bad, bad video here I'm not a professional at that but it's in ready to tack up